Okay, it's finally time to play Saints Row 2's DLC on PC. We're tired of waiting. So let's just get into it. As always, I'll have a link to where you can get the Saints Row 1 and Saints Row 2 DLCs on my website. Go download those. And then in Xenia, go to File and Install Content. Navigate through the directories of the pack you want to install until you find a file with a bunch of these capitalized letters and numbers. Double click on that and it should install the package. And that's basically all you have to do. There used to be this method where you had to extract everything and do it manually, but now Xenia just does it for you. In the test I've ran for Saints Row 1, you should be good to go from here. You can confirm you have everything installed by checking the downloadable content in the main menu. And if you want to explore those multiplayer maps, you can use this console command to warp to them. Now Saints Row 2 is going to be a bit more involved. First of all, we need to change our Xenia config file. We're going to change query occlusion fake sample count to negative 1. This is to stop light from bleeding through walls. We're also going to change max queued frames to 3. This should help stop audio desync issues in cutscenes, and it should work for Saints Row 1 as well. And if you didn't see my first video, you have to change Protect Zero to False. Now specifically for DLCs, the title updates have to match. The ISO I'm providing doesn't match by default, so you'll need to download the provided title update. And once again, go to File, Install Content, and Apply It. This is important to note because you can run into different compatibility issues depending on which version of Saints Row 2 you download. Huge thanks to Caboose for providing the title update patch for this particular Saints Row 2 ISO. Assuming things work and the title update matches the DLC, you should see this checking downloadable content message when you start the game. If you're still running into any issues finding the content in the game, Caboose suggests you spam F5 a few times to clear your cache and restart the game. Of course what this means is that Saints Row 2's DLC is finally playable on PC. The PC version never got DLC, with the Gentleman of the Row mod only two of the six DLC missions were ported. Even then it had substituted NPCs, no mission audio, and no cutscenes. Xenia could arguably be the better choice over the retail PC version for playing Saints Row 2. God's Hand even made a 60fps patch for it. Of course we're still waiting on that PC patch which will include working DLC and multiplayer. This PC patch means a lot to the community, and I'm not saying this method is a substitute for what's to come. Working multiplayer and a stable native PC build of Saints Row 2 will lead to much greater community development. But as I've said, we're tired of waiting. Besides the classic Duke Nukem Forever excuse of, it'll be done when it's done, we're still working on it, we haven't gotten any updates on this thing. They don't even have a roadmap out for their new game's DLC. The DLC that people bought a season pass for. A season pass that doesn't even cover seasonal DLC items. So just assuming nothing ever releases, you can play Saints Row 2's DLC this way. Now there's another thing I'd like to address. Saints Row Mods is now allowing console mods. You can't discuss piracy, but if you run into any trouble, you can ask them for support. I tried to simplify a lot of the process in my last video, and of course that led to a few mistakes on my end. For example, I saw some people having trouble with the batch files. If you have any white space in your folder names, that will basically ruin how the batch file runs. Instead, try looking for Caboose's extraction tools on saintsrowmods.com. Also, for the console commands, I included the title update 0 and title update 1 patch files together, thinking they would apply themselves accordingly, but as it turns out, one may try to overwrite the other. So if you start Saints Row 1 and you see version 1.01, keep the title update 1 file and delete the other. And if you just see version 1.00, delete title update 1 and keep title update 0. Again, if you have any trouble, go to Saints Row Mods as that will now be a more up-to-date resource on how to get this stuff running. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know in the comments what you think about the DLC. See you next time! Shake the